Welcome, O90 students, again. This is getting better at word problems. And this really isn't going to be math, um, but more strategies on how to get better at word problems. So I got five little tips for you. The first one, when and, and by the way, don't think that you're alone if you hate word problems. Everybody hates word problems. Um, but I think these five steps or tips or whatever you want to call them will help you get better at it. And uh, here we go. Step one is to read the problem two to three times before you pick up your pencil. A lot of people just jump the gun and they start just doing stuff right off the bat and praying that they're right. And this is not the way you do word problems. You read the problem two to three times and uh, do make sure you're using a pencil because that will improve your grade right there. The next step is to try to find a way to relate the problem to your life. Try to put yourself in the role of the person in the problem. This is this is key to to you understanding what the problem's asking, and that's everything. Because most people fail at word problems because they don't um, know what the problem's asking. That will help you. Step three is identify the key terms, the facts, and the numbers in the problem, and filter out the stuff that isn't needed. Math people who make up word problems are notorious for putting stuff in there to try to trick you. Uh, you have to learn how to filter out this stuff. And the way that you do that is by doing step one, which is reading the problem two to three times. If you do just these three things right here, um, your word problem skill is going to go through the roof. It's, but there's two more things. If possible, draw pictures. You know, I'm a visual learner, definitely. And uh, most people are. Um, if possible, draw pictures. And last... When you get all that done, if you can draw pictures, then you need to determine the math operations that you need to do to solve the problem. Um, you got to figure out, do I multiply? Do I divide here? Do I add, subtract? Are the variable, what are the variables? What is this problem asking me to do? Figure all that out, determine the math operations to solve the problem, and then proceed in a neat way. And don't be afraid to you know show steps. A lot of people just jump straight to an answer and I didn't show any work. You have to show the steps um, in the way that you solve the math part of the problem. So I hope this helps. Um, you can get better at word problems. You're not alone. Everyone, including me, hates word problems. So I'll talk to you later.